Good morning. It is Thursday the 15th. It is 7.24. Beautiful we're, morning. We're going to be on trail by 7.30, I hope, because it's late already. Um, this is the green wall shelter. Biggest downfall here is no privy. I mean, not no privy. Bleh, no bear box. The privy, which I did check out this morning, is pretty fabulous. Um, it's one of the nicest privies. That's one thing about being so far off trail, not as many people are using it. But we had a great night as far as weather, not a drop of rain. Thank you. And, uh, you know, shoes are still wet. But I'm pretty proud because I managed to tie them myself. Um, I, I got to keep them tight around my ankles because if I don't, A, they don't support them, which is the whole point of them, and B, I get pine needle in my shoes. We have made it to the trail. It is 0.26. So, gut hook really needs to round that up. It is not 0.2. Um, one of the comments, I don't know if I'm repeating myself, it's entirely possible, said that this was an easy five miles. So, we'll see how easy. They made no comments about mud. Um, Team Eiler continues to mentally struggle. And I told Rich, maybe while we're walking along, we can revisit in our minds Appalachian Trials. Um, in our case, it is definitely a physical game. With the young ones, it's not so much. But, I mean, we both have things going on physically that we do need to pay attention to. But the mental struggle is real. Um, I'm hoping we can just get to Andover, Hanover and uh, maybe regroup a little bit and figure out how to take this on. Um, I mean, if we can slack pack some, that'll help out his hip. It's really bothering him. My left hip is not the greatest, but so far it's doable. The wrist is a big thing for me. But the sun is shining. Last time Rich checked the weather, it wasn't supposed to rain until like 8 o'clock tonight which would be the longest we've gone without rain in two weeks. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night, no rain tonight. So we could get over Mount Killington without rain. I hope that forecast holds. <laughs> Morning comments, sir. The struggle is real. <laughs> We're not quitters. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, just if you have the opportunity to do this before you get too old do i mean there's a guy at the shelter today i never did get his trail name He's 67 years old going like a deer if you're genetically blessed you can do this really late in life but you know if you got some bad genetic <laughs> proclivities toward degeneration you might want to do this in your 50s <laughs> so enough of that that is sunshine and that is so awesome um i honestly can say that in the last Maybe, I don't even know how many days since we've been on trail. This is the farthest I've gone without having to trudge through mud. Um, the trails are super resilient and can bounce back if given a little time. If we really do get sun for the next two days, it's going to be a game changer. Um, hopefully having easier trails will like make it easier on everybody physically as well as mentally. Um, we're not quite to Bully Brook, which is... Where originally we are going to go, I'm having a little remorse for not having gone there yesterday because so far the trail's been really easy and we would have been, I mean, actually because of the three tents back and forth to Greenwall, we would have only had to hike another three tents, but you can't go backwards, only forwards. There's a really nice waterfall down there. Um, I'm sure we're like right on top of Bully Brook. There was a... Um, little picnic area that may have been where the camping was for here. Rich said he's glad we didn't come down here after all because it's a lot damper. So everything works out just the way it's supposed to. I'm going to put this away because I have steps to negotiate. I mean there's steps but still need my pole. So pretty. This has got to be Bully Brook. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh. Yeah, I can't. Enjoy it, though. It's lovely. Ah, uh, it was a little tiny bit damp. I decided to just step on the rocks and avoid the log. Rich was downstream trying to find a way across. I was just going to stay on that trail wherever it goes because I like the scenery better. But I, I did. I avoided the log. 
you get a tiny bit damp, but who cares? Yeah, this is the trail. Just be careful. No, no log. Avoid log. Yeah, step to there. That one little rock's going to shift a little, but you're okay. Got it. There. Huh? First crossing of the day. We are... You go slow. 1.7 in. Um, which sits doing really bad. Really, really bad. Um, I asked him if he wanted me to call a shuttle here, and he said no. Uh, I'm not sure he's going to make it to Killington. Uh, I was hoping... I mean, it bothers him off and on. And I was hoping that we'd get to Hanover where I was going to force him to get an x-ray just in case he's got a hip blown out. But we may not make it that far. You know, again, hike young kids. We are pretty much up domed ledges, which I kept misreading as doomed ledges. Um, slow jam and crawl went out to the Vista. Uh, we didn't. Rich doesn't need to be doing any miles. He doesn't have to. Um, we're 2.1 from Minchie Shelter. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm starting to feel like, um, I did the Roan Highlands with his, ang with his knee. Uh, there's a parking lot. It's like 1.8 past the shelter. And if he's doing as badly as he is now, I think I'm going to tell him to call it. It doesn't mean the hike's over. It just means he needs to get in and have an x-rayed. And maybe, you know, a steroid shot or something, cortisone shot, can get him back out here. But it's, it's just, there's no point in him having pain every step, which is what he's had the last two days. So, in other news, it's the best trail we've had, and I can't remember. And the weather is holding. It's a little humid, but I'm not complaining. No way am I complaining. So... Hopefully we'll get to the shelter and he can stretch it out, see how he feels. We're one mile from the shelter and we both said this has just been the best trail ever. I mean, we've hit a little bit of mud. Um, we're going down quite a bit, like 700 feet, but they give you lots of steps. And uh, for the most part, I mean, there's some muddy spots, but for the most part, it's dried out well. The woods are just gorgeous. Um, the weather's good. Birds are happy. My partner in the back is not happy. He's struggling, but he's making a valiant effort. When we get to the shelter, get packs off, and hopefully maybe his hip will feel better. Wish us luck. Well, our break is completed. That's a nice shelter. There were a big group of Sobos uh, this way, I guess, huh? Yeah. Tenting. Water bug among them. She said that she had one view in um, New Hampshire, but hers was Mount Washington, so that's pretty awesome. And they were in good spirits. They said, just start off slow. And she said, we didn't know any better about the weather because we didn't have anything to compare it to. <laughs> uh, next stop will be Clarence, stopping for lunch. This is airport lookout. So we're looking at the airport, obviously, and mountains, and A golf course. Dang, we have been working our way down from the airport lookout. And you get to a point where it's a lot of pine needles. It's a lot of those rocks, which are now sweating because it has rained and now it's sunny. And uh, man, Rich said one day, one minute he was standing there. The next minute he was face into a pine tree. It was very scary. Um, my recommendation to anybody coming this way is just avoid the rocks. You can usually find little side trails where people like me are going around them in the mud. I'd rather go in the mud than try to skate down those things. I think we're mostly down, thankfully, but that was no fun. We have made it to Clarendon Gorge. That was tricky, not gonna lie. Now we have this nice bridge. I guess it's all decked out for 4th of July. Or maybe it's always this way. I don't know. Look at that. Wow. Pretty. 
pretty. It's really cool. Uh, some people swim down here, but there's all kinds of warnings about being super careful because you can get swept away. We are climbing up to Clarendon Lookout. It was like a lot of feet in very little distance. Um, it's a butt kicker. It's mostly like stones and stuff. I'm managing, I just have to get creative. We are almost to the top and I'm glad. It's beautiful though. This is the view from Clarendon Lookout. Seeing the airport again. There's the golf course way off in the distance. All kind of mountains. That is no joke, people. That's a tough one. We have like six tents to the shelter where we're taking lunch. Maybe then I'll get my breath back. It's a beautiful day. <clears throat> what, babe? I don't remember doing a climb like that since we left Georgia. Yeah, that's harder than even Georgia. That was a booger. Straight up. And it was rocks. So I guess we better get to the shelter so we can take these packs off. Stop for lunch at Clarendon Shelter. Um, really nice tenting. Nice shelter. I mean, chairs. I gotta fit, tip this back over because of the water. Um, firewood. Table. Grilling tools. Uh, the priv bowls, movie stars. Yeah, there's a bear box. Cement pond. The privy's a bit of a distance, so you need to kind of plan that adventure. But apparently there's been bears and a uh, crawl saw mouse. So if you come here, just keep all that in mind. But we are going on to Governor Whatever Shelter. And Gover Governor Clement, 6.1 miles. And we got another climb, yay. Oh, we just came up over Beacon Hill. It was like 525 feet and half a mile. And maybe we're just both beat up, but man, that kicked our butts. Um, we had told Slow Jam Crawl, just y'all head on out. Ah, youth. But we've got a little over five miles left to go. We've got like another thousand feet of climbing, but I'm thinking that it's more gradual. Um, these hundred, 100 feet every tenth is tough. Um, Rich's hip is doing a little better. Um, I guess I have sympathy pains for the first time since we've been on trail. My left one's really bothering me. Maybe my steroid shots are off. Um, we're just going to take it a day at a time. Hopefully we can get into Killington, make some decisions about whether to um, shuttle to Hanover and go to see doctors about hips or what the heck we're doing. I don't know. We did get good news. I don't know if I said this on the video. If so, I'll take it out. Um, his tick panel for all the ticks was negative. So you got any problems there. That's one good news. This is the cold river, which we are going over on a road bridge. Um, we have about three and a half miles to go, maybe a little less and a whole bunch of up. We're tired. We're old. <laughs> Today we feel old. <laughs> well, that nice man just stopped, asked us if we needed anything, offered to take us up to the store to get a Coke. Like a couple of dumb butts, we said no. <laughs> so I guess we better get off our dumb butts and get up this mountain. Um, it's like 3.2 and 797 feet of up. And we've already come up a whole bunch of up. But we can do it so off we go i think that this is still gould brook um so jam and crawl had taken a break there we're soaking their feet look pretty awesome but we felt like our little break back on the road would have sufficed and we were just going to keep going because we got that climb um they'll pass us anyway because you know we're young it's really pretty here though trail's good we saw another sobo Anything you want to add, my dear? Oh, it's just kind of cool how we got creeks on both sides. Yeah, the there's one over there. You can't really see it, but we can hear it. So we've got, I don't know, about by green blueberries. two and a little bit of miles. This sure is pretty. You are not going to believe this. Because it was a dry fit. That man that I said was so kind <laughs> met us with Cokes. Still speechless about Mike. And then we see this. 
whatever else happened, we made it to this sign. So um, yeah, we saw the Perch family van, which is awesome because the Perches are here, but that also means campsites just got real premium. So we got to hustle. Oh, Mike was telling us that his son through hiked in 2013 and that he and his wife um, do trail magic up at a dirt road that we're gonna cross. Um, not today, <laughs> but he said that they come out here, he comes in the morning and brings bagels and all this kind of stuff. And then his wife shows up in the afternoon with hamburgers and hot dogs and fresh produce out of their garden. Sounds really awesome. Um, still just kind of emotionally overwhelmed that somebody who didn't know us from Adam went to all that trouble to just bring us a Coke. Trail's a pretty amazing place. That is Sergeant Brooke. And boy, is it gorgeous. I wish we were able to go swimming. Um, we do have a road over Sergeant Brook, apparently. And that's kind of weird that we're suddenly on road, but we are. So let's see how this works. Huh. Yep, it's road. Looks like we go this way, right? Boy, it sure is pretty. We are about a little less than a mile. And I don't know, I don't think we're gonna be on this very long, but we'll enjoy it while we can. This is Governor Clement Shelter. Apparently this used to be Party City, um, but then they closed the road that used to come out here. So they don't party here anymore. Oh, hi, sorry. <laughs> I was just showing my friends. Oh, and it does have a fireplace. A couple of nights ago, we'd have used that. Maybe not tonight. <laughs> and there's tons of places for tenting. Um, there's water down there. Um, there's tenting down by the water, but with the triplex, we have to be careful. And there's privy. Looks brand new. So, yes, home for the night. Home sweet home for the night. Um, sleeping bag was still working on drying out so hopefully this nice day will help dry it out but um we're all set up now we gotta figure out where to hang the bear bag and eat some food right there yeah we're snuzzed in here for the night and and uh and what let me hold that no i got it Trails are nice today. The weather is good. You know, I'm a little gimpy, but you know the afternoon is better than the morning. That's for sure. Yeah, I kind of left y'all hanging. I didn't really update you. Um, we took a couple Tylenol, and that seemed to help. Yeah, um, a couple more. Man, my left hip got really bad when we stopped at lunch. I was, it hadn't happened, been that bad in forever. And I took a couple of ibuprofen, so you know we're just on the drug train around here. Actually, stopped and took our shoes off at lunch today. That was kind of nice. Yeah. I'm still getting pine needles bad in my shoes. I thought it was because of going through all the mud, but then I thought it was because my shoes weren't too loose. I'm going to, if we were able to go forward, which I really hope we are, um, I'm going to have to get some kind of gator to go around the top because I'm just like dragging half the forest into my shoe. It's <laughs> just all that stuff in there. That's crazy. But my shoes are good. I mean, my ankles are doing great. So. Um, I think with my hip, it's a possibility because I'm now only using my left trekking pole. Mm. I'm probably putting more weight on my left leg. You know, it's if I was going to break a, a wrist, it really should have been my left one. That would have worked a whole lot better in a lot of reasons. But that could be what's going on. Um, Mine could be a pinch nerve in my back too. I think it is. His is, but you know, the bottom line is we need to get to Hanover and have him checked out. This is not sustainable. He can't live on Tylenol. He can't take ibuprofen, which is probably a good thing because he'd burn holes in his stomach by now. I used to take it years ago. <laughs> I was playing a lot of sports. But uh, get him to Hanover, have him checked out. Uh, I may give a quick call to my doctor back home and just tell her what's going on and see what she thinks is best for me to do. Um, you know, we're, we're less than 500 miles from Katahdin. We'd sure like to get there, but. You it was know. really cool seeing that sign today. You know, the, the, the hiking today was just absolutely Almost beautiful. normal. 
<laughs> the trails were, were good. I mean, they were almost normal. Um, and Mike. It wasn't a lot of mud. Mike was a gift. I and, cannot. I mean, we, you didn't get, I'm so glad I videoed his truck falling away. Yeah. But literally he came up, he goes, you know, all right, I guess we looked as tired as we felt. And he's like, can I, can I take you to town? Can I get you anything? And Rich jokingly said, you know, you got any nice cold Cokes in there? Because I've been talking all day about wanting a Coke. Um, and then to see him at that next road. Yeah. I mean, Rich actually kind of burst into tears in the woods. It was very touching. We both got emotional about it. But it's people like that make the world go around when you're out here. I'll tell you what. We needed it today. Yeah, we did. So tomorrow is a 10. Um, Slow Jam and Crawl are going to go with their family. I told them, you know, because of Killington, we may be a little far behind them. Um, we've got to figure out um, God, as soon as I get done with this, where we're staying and uh, figure out if we can walk to Hanover or if we're going to have to shuttle. So we got big decisions to make, but um, yeah, it was good day except for old bodies mm -hmm. hiking. Yeah, the hiking was beautiful. The woods were beautiful. The yeah. waterfalls were amazing. Yeah, it was, it was a beautiful section. This part of Vermont is beautiful. Yeah, I said, I really, said to him, really Vermont good. realized it was up on our last nerve and it had to try to be on its best behavior yeah, for a yeah, day. It was today, for sure. <laughs> But we're going to cut this short because I filmed the done today. All right. Night, kids. Night.